you want to get your hair cut in Villefranche de Perigord, you have two choices. On one side of the street is a hairdresser's, all chrome and shiny mirrors, and a little further down is a barber's of the cutthroat razor kind. But it's no Sweeney Todd style shop, more a great place to enjoy a heavy dose of French life. I'd already prepared myself for the visit, learning the French word for short, for a little shorter please, and leave the sideburns as they are. Well, maybe not the last one. I was also hoping that there would be a couple of pictures on the wall, like all good barbers, that I could at least point to. But I then had a panic attack, as I felt they all might be pictures from the 70s, and I'd have to point to something that their hair bear bunch would be proud of. As I walked into the shop, there was an old chap sat in the chair, with a barber tending to his hair, and chatting away. They both turned towards me, and said bonjour. I returned the welcome, and as there was no one waiting, just sat in one of the chairs, and waited my turn. Ten minutes later, and I was sat under the quick scissors and smooth style of Daniel Gaudray, Villefranche de Perigord's true barber. I've been a barber in the village for forty years, Daniel said. I was born fifty metres away from the shop, and I've lived here all my life. After I left school, I trained to be a barber at college, and started working in the shop. Daniel is more of a sculptor than a hairdresser. He uses scissors and a comb like an artist uses a brush, with a delicate touch and dedication to detail. He turns to his cutthroat razor to take the hair off the back of your neck, and only uses the electric trimmers to tame your sideburns. It's a shame that hairdressers today only use the trimmers to cut people's hair, he said, but is that that is what they are taught at college. They have no knowledge of how to use the scissors and comb to cut hair, they might as well be shearing sheep. At the back of the shop is a collection of wooden mushrooms, walking sticks and canes, the other passion in Daniel's life. He enjoys going out into the forests around the village with his dog and camera, take pictures of mushrooms that he uses as the basis for his wood turning, and it is clear to see the skills he has developed as a barber come out in his hobby, again the touch of a sculptor is evident. I enjoy the mountains, Daniel said as he pointed to a large poster of the Alps on the wall, but I can't get to see them as often as I would like. I am hoping to retire soon, but there is no one to take over the running of the shop as yet. As my cut was coming to a finish, another man dropped into the shop, said bonjour, I shook both Daniel's hand and mine. He said the weather was about to turn, and as I got up to pay, he took his place in the barber's chair. Thank you for listening to the ThisFrenchLife.com show. I'm Craig McGinty. Abianto.